Okay, dudes, this is a bathroom. We've got this heaty lamp on and a couple of heaty lamps. Really, this one's a lot dimmer, uh, not as hot. In here for our plants um, and the bathroom. So we're trying to make everything all cool, like a little oasis. This is what we got right now going on in the bathroom. Um, this is what we got going on in the bedroom. My baby made the bed, honey. Thank you. Um, we organized all day yesterday. We've got so much stuff, it's hard to keep it. Now, my baby's got his bottom part <laughs> to organize, but look what he did with the coffee cubby. I hope you guys can see it. He built that shelf, put all the cookies up there, and then he set everything up down there for the coffee pot to work. And then we're going to put some stuff up there, CDs, movies, stuff like that get it all organized but and here's the closet that I told you I'm not done with it but I've been working on it for a long time now um, you guys are gonna be like what the fuck yeah and we still have all of this a stack of clothes there to deal with I'm gonna turn this into the Christmas sex section section uh, not sex but section and um you know the Christmas sex goes on in the bedroom most of the time right babe yeah, most of the time, and not always, but uh, sometimes it's at the school parking lot, which we are going there today, honey. Oh, hey. Yeah. yeah. Well. Um, but anyway, we won't say anything lest we incriminate ourselves. But uh, here's the, the computer area. This is the library, and there's the greenhouse. Um, I think the bathroom should be called the spa. I like that. Are you okay, babe? Okay, I'm going to head outside to the yurt and take some stuff out there. So, yesterday we worked on the, I worked on the yurt, you guys, uh, and the yard, although you can't really tell it right now. Is this the idea? Yeah, that can stay. That's my part of the job, so. I'm taking this to the car real quick. So, anyway, the main thing I want to focus on at the moment is the yurt. See the wreath on the yurt door? So we got cool shit going on. You guys sit here for a minute and stare at the, the yurt. And damn it. Okay, stare at whatever you're staring at. Uh, I'll be back. I gotta throw this in the car. I gotta have a hair dryer at school today because I gotta dry hair. Babe, will you grab, when you come out, or we need to remember a package of uh, trash bags for the car. Okay. we got to have one of those in there. I'll uh, grab one right now, because while you're driving, if you drive, I'll clear up some of that trash. Coolio. Thanks. So this is our food package, uh, care package for the yurt. And this is our first aid kit for the yurt. I'll be right back. I'm adding some stuff to it, you guys, real quick, so. We're trying to get some more suitcases to use it well as cases for our first aid kits but right now we've got this bucket Now I'm going to put it right inside the door, and then I'll show you guys what's up. Uh, this is the inside of the yard at this point. We've got a bed over here. It's on a mattress, see? Can you see the mattress? 
and there's the first aid kit. Uh, there's a tree that's still growing. There's our um, fire ready to go. The chimney's closed at the moment. We're going to keep it closed until we absolutely have to open it. Or we just come out here and choose to open it and then close it because we don't want it wet or snowy in here. And then this is all of our burnables over here. Um, this is just a trash bag right there. And then um, uh, Gary Farmer's chair that Bo's sat in. Uh, Bo has set set in. Um, and then I'm going to put the food up here. So anyway, nobody's going to be sitting there right now. Sitting there right now. And sit. Uh, sorry. There's some wood and... Uh, there's the fire pit that I cleaned out yesterday real good. And then, oh, there's matches. Okay, cool. Um, we need those matches accessible in the dark. Uh, should have broke, what should I do with them? Uh, I think I'll set the matches right here beside the fire. So they're easy to find. See? in the dark. This is our backup plan in case it gets cold and we would lose electricity. So here's the first aid kit. I'm going to move it to the chair too. So in the dark, in an emergency, we would be able to access food and the first aid kit pretty easily. There's our fire extinguisher. We're going to get more stuff like this over time. I'm doing a whole disaster plan, you guys. This is going to go on the outside of the yurt. It's the last covering and actually the last thing that has to be done to insulate the yurt. But I haven't had time to do it yet, so I'll do that later. Probably with my sweetheart's help. It'll take 10 minutes, but it ain't right now. My baby's too busy working on the insulation of the RV, which is frankly more important right now. Of course, <laughs> if our electricity goes out, I wish we'd done this first, but, but right now, we got it going on so we will be decorating a little bit of our yard with uh, Christmas stuff but for now we got the yurt with a wreath on the door so we got to find a way to hook this hun I don't know how that it can easily be open and closed but it'll stay when we uh, when we close it but we'll figure that out later Oh, I'll take it. It goes in here. An animal probably did try to get into the food, but they didn't get anything, so that's cool. Maybe this is the best way just to tuck it in. Because then when we come out here opening it from the right, we just pull it on this side. We have to... It's connected, so... There's another stack of burnables we brought enough firewood up to last for one fire for like one night it would last and it would be have to we'd have to use it sparingly to be honest but uh but that's all right it's all good this i'm probably gonna take down at some point but right now it's okay um oh shit burnables trash on our front door, if you guys can see it. But I'm going to have to take this bell and move it. I think I need a new trash bag. I think I need a whole bag of box of trash bags, actually. Oh, you need to. All right. It's... I am kind of well. And the camera's out there. I've got everything kind of in its place right now, but it's all right. Not much. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 I 
definitely going to eat one way or the other. So, uh, it doesn't matter. But I'd, <laughs> it's nice to save some of our, our money. But I'm also not going to stress. We got to sweep our floor every day, you guys. A little bit every day because it just gets so messy. the yurt. Man, it looks so cool. And I'm going to close it. Are the wheels in there? Well, we have to go back in there. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to start. We're slowly decorating. Duh. Thank you so much uh, for doing the insulation. Yeah, I'll have it all done eventually. Okay, so I was going to gather up some of these <laughs> dishes, but I don't know if I will. Anyway, there's the wreath. I added a little belt. Are you in there, Dobby? Are you in the yurt? Come on out. So, good girl. I'm going to have you go in the house. Dobby, God, the water in here is like freezing. So, I'm going to like uh, freeze my butt off for a second. And, some of these in here. I'm taking them in the house to finish cleaning them. This one is clean. It goes in the yurt. So. Okay, a couple more dips in the freezing cold water and I'm uh, on it good. That's good for now, you guys. A little hypothermia is a little too much for me. Oh my Thanks. It's nice and warm in here though. Trying to keep everything in its perfect little spot. 
and it's hard man we got so much stuff it's like that's been the hardest thing of moving to Santa Fe I noticed it when I first got here it's like wow the houses are tiny and there's no space no extra space ever on anything but you get good really well we're learning to get really good at at it it takes a lot of skills getting rid of things storing things everything has to have its perfect place and it can't really be some things can have three perfect places like here and like this bag has to be moved all the time so it's in the car it'll have a per perfect place in the living room it'll have a perfect place and in the bedroom it has a perfect place same with this bag this is a bag we carry with us everywhere and then of course there's my new little purse but the coats they'll have a perfect place everything has its own damn it what the fuck the thing about having a perfect place for everything is that Mm -hmm. Stuff is easily, let's say, moved up in a perfect place. Okay. You can just accidentally knock out of a perfect place. <sighs> the next time I might have to take the dishes in that big tub and just dump all that water out trying to kind of save it in case we need it for anything not to it's pretty damn dirty and freezing cold water water at all can become uh, quite a um what am i trying to say i'm not sure it becomes really 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 important of course everybody knows that but it's like sorry the soil the sauna looks nice, doesn't it? The yurt, did I showed them the inside of the yurt, honey. It looks so cool. Oh. I've got the food, the emergency first aid kit out there, ready to start a fire. The matches are sitting on the side of the fire pit where we can find them in the dark. We need to get some more batteries today and a battery for a lamp that we're gonna use out uh, there. We gotta get more batteries, more flashlight type things. Uh, what I'm preparing, what I'm doing is preparing for a disaster. I found this at the library. It was given for free. Well, it says uh, New Mexico Family Emergency Preparedness Guide. And it gives us most of the major disasters and how to respond and prepare for them. And what I'm gonna do is prepare us a variety of plans depending on what's going down but to be honest it's gonna have to happen over time because it costs money it takes time to make those plans and prepare those plans and you have to if you have one for the RV say that includes the RV then you have one plan if it doesn't include the RV and only the car then that's another plan see we're gonna have a variety of plans to uh, to adapt to any situation and hope we never have to adapt to any of them at all but being prepared for a big disaster will be prepared better for any smaller disasters I mean to get serious about it like getting a spare tire in my car uh, all the tools we need in my car in case we have to change a tire or deal with something small or big even a manual that might help us fix the car just everything like that like really really become independent honey you need a you need more warmth yeah I'll wear another jacket like, uh there's oh do you mind if I throw this purse in the car for you car I'll great. throw all this stuff out there we'll carry the camera separately Julio. might as well grab my backpack while I'm at it and are you hungry yet babe I could probably eat we could eat we could eat real we're quick we're a not, tortilla yeah. and soup and sure, that's all right. Sounds good, baby. So you can just set that there. You don't have to run it out unless you're dying to. Oh, I'll just take it out. Will you grab anything that's in the back seat that doesn't that, belong to that yeah. brown blanket does belong it there? Does and belong. if there's a pillow in there, just leave it. Okay. We got to get another blanket and another pillow for in there and candles and like uh, like I'm saying to these guys, we got to get uh, seriously prepared, even if it's just for the smallest 
thin, just the smallest amount that you can mm -hmm. in case we get stranded in the cold, which is a real likelihood because we live up in the mountains and shit, you know. Right. We were stranded last oh, no. year, so. Dobby! Dobby, did I leave you out there, girl? I'm sorry. I'm okay, Wilma. You're not cold. No, I did good. I did good by sitting here in front of the fucking heater. Yeah, well, you're smart. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna put some lotion on my hands. So, what I'm gonna... Fuck, how did that... Weird. Uh, my, oh, okay, my baby dug out behind the couch and ended up digging a bunch of stuff out, so that's fine. And <sighs> anyway, we have just like the loveliest setup in the world um, for like a fraction of the cost that these billionaires have. I don't know. I, I think that some of these billionaires have seen their houses uh, either there. They come on, their houses are awesome, but there's a coldness sometimes to them. Not very welcoming. Ours is totally welcoming and warm, even though it's actually kind of cold. Um, we need it to be cold, uh, to be warm, because it's cold. So we try to make things warm, uh, in the sense of every sense of that word, you know. So here I'm going to show you guys my soup. It's steak taco soup that I made yesterday, and it's damn good. So I'm going to that up real quick with a couple tortillas in the microwave or actually the tortillas can sit on top and then I'll heat them with butter I'm hungry uh, you guys just hang over here I already shut off the computer but I might turn it on so you can on some weird deal okay you guys are looking in the front in the greenhouse while well, you're actually looking at a Santa's beard anyway we'll, we'll be back uh, for you in a second I'm gonna grab these tortillas and well I have to say yeah we've made progress What'd you say? We've made progress. Hell yeah, we've made a lot of great progress. <sighs> you want to come look at the soup and see if it's going to be acceptable for oh, you? Oh, maybe I'm quite sure it will be. I just really wanted you to see how good it looks when we see oh, it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Heating it up. Nice, baby. Mm. Okay. Definitely got to put the glass. I didn't get to show them the outside. We'll try to do that on the uh, way in. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's more plastic got to be done. More sure. on the outside? Yeah. Okay. My bedroom window's got to be done. But the you said the library one. window? or? Uh, this one's done. My okay, window, cool. My bedroom window, that back window, you want your window done. This one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll do it yeah. over time. One. One more time. One makes a big difference, honey. It's, I feel like yeah. it's warmer already. Maybe two. Yeah, that's psychological. <laughs> I think it's real because I just had my hands out in the freezing freaking like frozen water outside, getting some dishes, and I walked in here and dried my hand off, and it's warm again. So thank you for keeping the heater on. Oh, God. So they're hanging from the front looking at something, something pleasant. Okay, I'm taking a couple flour tortillas and I'm putting them. Do you want more than one is fine for you? Okay, well then I'll add chips so we can have a backup. Our kitchen is the area that needs the most attention next. Good. We'll get there. I'm going to grab us a couple puddings. 
and to take Do you see any? I might have them. I'm looking for a couple spoons. Actually, four spoons. Next time we're at Wendy's, we've really got to get a bunch more silverware, honey, because we're going through it, I guess. So. So I'm going to put these two puddings and these two spoons right here. Let's see, I think uh, the uh, rest of our spoons are back here. So, uh, when I do these dishes, I'm going to do them in a weird way, but I'm going to sanitize them with real hot water. It's time to do the dishes, but not right now. I've got a splinter in my finger now. Mm. I guess I'll worry about it later if it's too late. So we're getting our shit together. My baby covered this window in the library here above the couch. And um, it's cool. It's high tech, isn't it, babe? What? Your window that you did above the couch is high tech. <laughs> yeah, high tech, low tech. That's the coolest stuff, I think. Love you, Angel. Me and my baby love each other so much. We are freaking crazy about each other, aren't we, honey? <clears throat> Did you hear me, babe? That we're crazy about each other. Hell yeah. 